Good morning. Your favorite ginger beard is back for Friday Coffee Talks number 24. Now, if you do the math, um, I missed a week and I miscounted a week. So that makes this the 26th week of Friday Coffee Talks, which means half a year. I've been doing this for six months. So for those of you who haven't gotten tired of me yet, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching these. I really enjoy doing them. So, um, so thanks for, for letting me keep doing it. Um, we're rocking the Sawdust is Man Glitter mug today. Mm. Still the um, Land of a Thousand Hills uh, espresso blend from a few weeks ago. It's very, very, very good today. Tip top shape. Quick, quick update for those of you who uh, watched a couple weeks ago about the van story with the mouse. Uh, homeboy died in there in the air conditioner. Um, so it... I thought it was pretty bad before. It was much, much, much worse after the guy died. Um, the smell was horrible and it was not cheap to, we had to end up taking it to a, a shop and having them take the entire dash apart to find him. Um, really, really bad. I would not advise letting mice die in your air conditioner. So there's that. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about something a little different. Um, you know, most of the time around here, it's stories about me and my kids and. Um, and what we're doing and all that kind of stuff. But today I want to talk about what other people are doing, what y'all are doing, not necessarily y'all, but some people out there are doing. So today we're going to do advice for sellers from a seller. Um, everybody interacts with salespeople all the time. I do quite a bit because I are one. Um, but you know, it's part of life. You know, everybody's getting sold to, I think sales is a significant majority of people in business today. It's, it's just part of life. So you're going to get hit up by salespeople. You're going to get cold called. You're going to get cold emailed. That's just how it goes. And for those of us in sales, you're going to do those things too. You're not going to be successful unless you're reaching out and you're prospecting and trying to find new people. But there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. So I want to talk about a couple of mistakes that I see all the time. Um, so maybe we can help correct this. I'm trying to better our industry, right? It's not about me. I don't know everything. I'm not a sales expert by any means. I'm going to leave that for Brian Burns and some of these guys that are charging $10,000 for a seminar. Don't pay that by the way. Um, so the first one that we're going to talk about today is pertaining to LinkedIn. If you connect with somebody and send them a message within five minutes or an hour or even a couple days, you are doing it wrong. That is so annoying. People don't know you. They don't want to be pitched to immediately after you connect with them. It's a social network. It's not a a propaganda machine. So stop doing that. If you're going to connect with prospects, that's great. I love that. I do that all the time. LinkedIn is one of my favorite tools to use for sales. But if you're going to connect with somebody, wait until you've been connected to them for a while. Let them see the value in being your friend and being your connection. Don't send them a message right out of the bat. It's so, so, so annoying. Um, give it some time. The second one is pertaining to cold calling. So cold calling, you know, you'll read, you could probably read 10 articles today on cold calling is dead. And then you read 10 more about cold calling is the future. It's, it's sticking around. It's not going anywhere. We're going to be cold calling. Um, but if you are cold calling, don't jump right into your pitch. They pick up and they say, hello. And then you start talking and you talk and you talk and you talk until they hang up on you. That's why they're hanging up on you because you haven't given them a chance to decide whether they want to hear you or not. Um, don't just jump right into your pitch. It's so annoying. And along these lines, an unpopular opinion here, for me personally, don't use an auto dialer. Oh my gosh, I hate auto dialers. And you can tell, it's very easy to tell. You pick up the phone, you say hello, you hear this soft little beep of their auto dialer connecting you to them, and you can tell, and I instantly hang up. So look, for those of you who are SDRs and, and uh, out there hitting the phones every day, mad props to you, it's a, it's a, a tough game to be in. Some of you can't get by without auto dialers. I get it, but it makes it so impersonal and it sales is anything but. You're not a robot, you're a person and the people you're contacting are people. So just don't use an auto dialer if you can avoid it at all. Um, the last one I wanna talk about is being indignant to people when they tell you no. Look, sales is a negative game. We're gonna get a lot more no's than we are yeses, but when you get a no, take it graciously. Take the L and move on. There's other people out there. Um, there's nothing worse than, and I, I get it all the time. You know, I get LinkedIn messages from people trying to sell to me all the time. And I, I try to be respectful because I know I know the hustle. I know what they're, how they're doing. 
Um, I respond to every message, even if it's something that I have zero interest in, I'll tell them that of, hey, thanks for the offer, but I'm not interested. I can't tell you though, how many people have come back to that answer with, well, did you know this? Well, you should look at this. Are you sure about this? And they start peppering you with questions and and being indignant and, and like I they deserve for me to spend my time researching their product. And that's just not how it works. Uh, for those of you in sales, the people that you're prospecting to, the leads that you're chasing up, like I said before, they're people, they have families, they have things they're working on. They have a to-do list every single day, just like you do. And guess what? You're not on it. So when you cold call somebody or cold email somebody, they don't owe you anything. They don't owe you a second of their time. They don't owe you that 15 minute time slot in their calendar. You have to earn that. And the way you do that is by providing value to them, by being a human and having a conversation with somebody, not checking your little sales boxes of the seminar guide on the road and these pushy manipulative sales tactics that uh, some of these frauds are doing out there. So I think what it comes down to for me is I'm a person. I live my life. I have a job. I'm doing my job. But outside of that job, I have, I have, I'm a person. And the people that you're selling to are as well. So do the right thing by them. Be personable, be relational, and be humble. Nobody owes you anything. You got to go earn it. So enjoy your coffee this week. Next week, I'm going to be on vacation. So I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do. We will be at the beach next Friday. Uh, I will do a video of some sort. I don't know what it's going to be yet. My kids will probably be in it. Um, there will most likely be wave sounds behind me. So we'll have to figure that out. If you have any suggestions, what, ne ne what next week's Friday coffee talks should be uh, while I'm at the beach, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Oh, and for Chris Sullivan. Chewy's back. There he is. I moved him there just for you, buddy. Have a great week. We'll see you guys next time.